Butterfly Princess. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess with skin as pure as her soul with mesmerizing eyes that you get lost in. She was famous in all the neighboring kingdoms, not just for her beauty, but also for her wit and intelligence. Many a prince wanted to become her knight in shining armor, but failed. A man with magic that could dry up the oceans fell deeply in love with this princess. The wizard journeyed to the castle to ask for Skyla's hand for marriage. Fair princess, I have come to ask you for your hand in marriage. But the princess refused. You are not worthy. This greatly angered the magician. He loved her too much to let her go. So he turned her into a butterfly. They disappeared into thin air before anyone realized what happened. He promised her that he will give her life back if she marries him. But still, Skyla refused. Fair princess, why do you still refuse me? You are not worthy. Not worthy, but you're a butterfly. Love me, and I will change you back to human. Never. But one night, she got a chance to escape. And she did. What will it take, princess, for you to agree to? She's gone! Flying is tiresome. Shoo! Go away! Ow! For a moment, the princess forgot she was a butterfly. But the headstrong princess wiped her tears away and charged on. Oh no! Who is my new visitor? I am the princess. What a beautiful butterfly. Why do you have paintings of me on your wall? The painter does not hear her tiny pleas, for the princess's voice is so minuscule, not even a gnat could hear it. Are you admiring my paintings of the princess? She's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Her face haunts my dreams, so I paint her. But I am the princess. What are you doing? Let me go! Not to worry. Here you go, my new butterfly friend. The painter catches the princess, unaware that it is the princess he admires the most. Two days later, once her wing had mended, the painter releases her into nature. The princess flew and flew, not knowing where to go. Oh my, where do I go? She finds a waterfall. It reminds her of the waterfall she used to go to every full moon and sings till her heart's content. She slowly started weeping and humming a sad tune. Little did she know that the waterfall is home to a goddess. You have an exquisite voice, little butterfly. I am a princess. I heard you humming from inside my watery home. Humming? I thought I was singing. The princess still does not grasp that the world cannot hear her true voice. Mere mortals cannot hear you. I will grant you the power of voice. The princess's true voice is heard. Princess Butterfly sings to her heart's content, which so impressed the goddess that she granted Skyla one single wish. Oh, thank you, goddess. 
She tells the goddess her story and says her wish is to give her human form again. Oh, I can do no such thing, for the spell is too powerful to reverse permanently. What do you mean, permanently? I can grant you your human form, but only for two minutes. Oh, thank you, thank you. The only way to truly break the spell is to kill the one who placed it on you. That miserable old wizard did this to me. If you can vanquish this wizard, then you will return fully human again. The princess was told her two minutes will come during a time of great need. Then once your two minutes pass, you will return to a butterfly forever if you can't kill the wizard. Yes, goddess, I know what I need to do. Huh, my little butterfly friend has returned. You must help me, help me please. And you can speak. What do you need help with? I am Princess Skylar. I need your help to turn me back into a human. I don't understand. How can you be the princess? The object of my love and affection for all these years. You are just a butterfly. An evil wizard in love with me turned me this way and captured me. I barely escaped his wretched eagle. I ended up here trying to get away. The painter was in a quandary. Could this talking butterfly really be Princess Skyla? You'll have to prove you're the princess. Nonsense! So, I am just supposed to believe every talking butterfly that wanders into my home? He had a point. Very well. Ask me something only the true princess would know. Hmm. What did your father get you on your sixth birthday? That's easy. A glorious pony that I still ride to this day, or did when I was human. Correct! Oh my, you really are the princess. I am so honored to have you in my home. Yes, yes, honored. We must hurry, the wizard. Of course, my princess. What on earth are you doing? We must leave at once. Am I to take on a wizard with my bare hands, my lady? I have weapons and armor in here somewhere. Not the most fiercest warrior, yet when he stood before the princess, ready to lay his life down for her, something stirred deep inside. How long have you been painting me? Since the day you were born. I found you a fascinating subject. I didn't know you would grow into such a vision. The princess then realized this painter is who she had been searching for her whole life. Shouldn't we be going, milady? Oh, yes, we must make haste for the wizard's castle. I will guide us there. They traveled to the wizard's dark and gloomy castle. His bedroom is down here. If he sleeps, perhaps we can slay him before he wakes. Let's hope so. I'm not much of a knight. Who goes there? Oh my. Who dares enter my home? It is Princess Skyla and her brave warrior. This quaking fool is meant to be my opponent. Ah! Oh no, my princess. You became human to save me. You are my knight, my true prince. Seeing her at death's door, the wizard had a change of heart. Whether she feels the same or not, I love her too much to let her die. He's gone. I'm human once more. Let's go home, my princess. 
They steal a horse from the wizard's stable and begin the trek back home to start their new life together. Happily ever after.